Last time on The Privateer. Top 30 is the goal. Um, I mean, take Martin Mays. He's someone who's grown up through EWS and he is now the kind of rider people want to be. Um, so that's what you're up against. You know, everyone who's trying to be like Martin Mays and there's more than 30 of us. Yeah. The last stage is all I had. This is Adam. Adam was a privateer working a nine to five job to finance his passion for racing bikes. Last year, parts and training helped him get way faster. But success doesn't happen overnight. This year, his program has been turned up to 11 with full factory support. Will he be able to break into the pro ranks? We're about to find out. Adam is in North Star, California to give EWS Racing another shot. This is some of the most technically challenging terrain on the circuit, and to call these trails brutal would be an understatement. You're my favorite. You're my favorite. You're a superstar. <laughs> That's your guy. You're gonna win one day, I know it. <laughs> We're here on stage three and we're gonna take a measurement of the powder which fell last night. We're just gonna get a reading to see how deep it is. And uh, oh, oh boy, look at that. That's at least 20 centimeters. This is a, uh, you might not be able to see unless it's close up, but there's like a loose drop there. You drop into this chute and there's uh, yeah, microwave sized rocks littered everywhere, sort of in the dust. But the thing is you can't, can't heat up your lunch in these. You just smash into them. Super loose entrance into a bit of a drop on a steep chute. Let's give it a go. Here we are in one of the typical rock sections. We've got tons of big different size rocks from uh, we got a little pebble to a pretty big one and you kind of the line most people are taking is across the top here and you kind of do a bit of a turn and bounce through carry your speed out through there yeah you think this is the sketchiest part of the the course yo yeah probably <laughs> Oh, oh, oh! Woo! Oh, 
liner at GMS now. It's not the line. That's ah, that's pretty good. He made it down alive. I think it's really cool to see someone that's backed by all those sponsorships and he's just a normal guy like us riding, you know? Like, I want to see his journey. I really want to see that dude get it. He's tried so hard. He's trained real hard and everything and he's come up pretty good. I hope he does great. I uh, like he had a bit of a bummer in Whistler, probably not the best result he looked for, but I think North Star would come out swinging now. I don't know, there's just something about a come up person or like an underdog. You just want to see them succeed. It's super inspirational. It was so wild out there, just like um, hoping for the best and just trying to plow through the dust there and definitely didn't hit any lines that I'd practiced, just bloody straight through the dust, hoping, uh, hoping to make it through. Yeah, so Adam's in uh, 70, he's in the 70s, which is like, it's not a bad place to be. Maybe it's not exactly where he wants to be, but um, there's nothing to say that you can't climb up into the 30s, is for sure. Like, you know, you can get, um, you can call back a lot of time, and the stages today are gonna really lend themselves. Like, I think there'll be some big time margins. So, um, yeah, the, the possibilities are endless. If he can uh, just get on a good flow and find his mojo, then um, I reckon he can climb quite far up today.
Felt stiff as chips the whole way down that. Test complete passenger at this point. Three. Yeah, it was a sweet day. It's uh, amazing tracks, really gnarly. I had quite a few stalls and stuff like that, but no like major crashes. It was just a passenger, stiff as chips most of the way. That was as I went as hard as I could. I've never ridden anything like that. Yeah, I've never ridden anything like that. That was very wild. Wow. Super Great to survive, actually. Yeah, yeah. I think that, it kind of got down to that towards the end of the day. It was just like, okay, just, yeah. just finish, you know. No! Racing really anymore? You're just like get through. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, that's definitely what it felt like. Is that you felt the same? Yeah, I'd say it, not many people out there would actually be like, yeah, absolutely now that run because like the whole time you're kind of just like struggling. Like I'd prep, safely put that as like how I describe pretty much every stage is just struggling. But I don't know, just try struggle better than other people. <laughs> that's like it's a weird one. Call it uh, feel good trails. <laughs> no, you don't get to the bottom, be like, yeah, sick. Let's Go do that one again, you're just like sick. <laughs> Took that one off, let's never ride that truck again. But <laughs> it's so different to Whistler. Oh, exactly. Like everything else, like it's crazy that you guys are you know, all at the top on such different terrain. Yeah. It's, it's like, I don't know, I definitely surprised myself this week. I was like, man, I ripped my, ripped myself off earlier this week and I was like, I've never ridden anything like this. This is going to be an absolute nightmare. But yeah, just keep on keeping on, really. It's pretty much what you can do. next time on The Privateer. They'd, like I'd put out a video and it'd be all stoked. Yeah. And then I'd be like, oh, I'm going to this in this World Cup, like, blah, blah, blah. And they'd be like, oh, cool, <laughs> <laughs> good for you. I like, man, I could just like be home and do videos and focus on that. Thank you.